Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am playing Anime Fighting Simulator. And I'm going to be showing off all the new skills in the new Anime Fighting update. Uh, so let's just get into it. The first move we have here that you get from the boss is Biju mode. As you can see here, I have a Naruto Six Path Sage mode t-shirt. I'm going to put my walk speed really low. Because I don't want to walk too fast. Uh, but yeah. So, this is the Six Paths Sage Mode design for Naruto. But, this is just a shirt you can get if you have Robux. Uh, it only cost five, and I had like five remaining, so I just spent it on this. And it looks pretty cool. But, Biju Mode, uh, it's a body toughness skill you can get from defeating the boss. In my opinion, it is the easiest one to get, because I got it first try. But I put it to M as the hockey, so if I look sick. Uh, I have to check my frame rate a lot because it keeps dropping sometimes. But yeah, as you can see, this is Biju mode. It reduces at least 40% of all damage, which is really good for the boss. Uh, another move we have here is actually the rest of the moves are chakra related because if you guys don't know chakra is like the main thing in naruto so it's like the main power source in naruto so basically everything that's related to the nine tails and like the boss stuff they're all related to chakra but yeah um of course originally bang gives you a quest the first chakra move you learn is actually the rasengan the rasengan is really is a really um classic move that naruto uses so don't really have to explain much about it and then if you scroll down you see three new moves this is not new it's a quest three new moves rasen shuriken multi blah, blah, blah. multiple bomb rasen shuriken tailed beast bomb of course i set them to different hockeys so the first one i got after biju mode was tailed beast bomb it's really cool. It makes the Biju arm or the Chakra Karama arm that you can extend. And it throws the Tail the Beast Bomb. This is big compared to what Naruto actually throws in the Naruto series. This is like the size of an actual Tail the Beast Bomb. Just maybe a, like two times smaller. Multiple Bomb Ross and Shuriken. Uh, this is what he used to fight Madara or Kaguya. I don't know. I do watch Naruto. I still do right now. I'm still I'm actually watching Baruto if you guys don't know. So I just throw that. That's the Ross and Shuriken. Okay, bro. You can do that. Uh I don't care if you do that to be honest. But yeah, so we have what something okay. So we have the Ross you have we have the tailed beast bomb. We have the Rasen Shuriken, and we have the Multi Bomb Rasen Shuriken, which these moves are really good for the boss because they're long range and it's a just a good you know they're just good they're big that sounds wrong I know but yeah they're like really long ranges so it's a really good move. If you use it. But yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting to fight the boss. Why are there so many people? Well, because we want to fight the boss. Uh, not everybody can have all the moves like me. It's been, it took me like three days to get all these skills. So, skill a day, which is pretty rare. Which is like a really bad chance of getting something, if I was honest. Um, I like the Tailed Beast Bomb a lot because the cooldown is really short. And it's huge. I also like uh, the Rasen Shuriken. But the Rasen Shuriken and the Multi Bomb Rasen Shuriken, they take so long to. Uh, um, cool, the, the cooldown is so long. But it's really short compared to all the other moves I have. And. Just in general, one of the shortest uh, cooldowns for any move. But still pretty long compared to the um, 
Tailed Beast Bomb. So I like the Tailed Beast Bomb a little better. But I'll just wait until the boss is here. So I'll come back when we have the Nine Tails boss. Okay, guys. So there's one second left. So the boss should, yeah, right here. And what you want to first do right when he spawns is you want to double jump. Jump into the air. And after that, you want to attack it. Because your attacks will make uh make you fly in the air and keep you in the air oh wow that's a tier five boss yeah i am not ready for that oh god that's a tier five boss right there i did not think that would be a tier five boss but you know that's just how people do it um yeah i didn't think it would be a tier of five boss but yeah so the the um higher the tier the easier it is to get the skills if i was honest but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe if you want your shade and naruto man to come back to another video because i might not make my character look like this again but yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. I want to hit 200 subscribers. That would mean a lot to me. And this guy might try to kill me. But then again, it's the safe zone. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I spelled it wrong again. Oh, my God. Peace.